Of course, he snuck through without getting spotted by wards. In fact, LeBlanc roaming up as well. So, fighting the bot lane against Cody Sun. The flash exhaust coming in back on oh. Altec. Back on Cody Sun, they go. Altec, three shots away from the crit. He's not going to get the hits in. Oh. Here comes out. And he'll block the volley. First blood comes through in the bot lane. And the top, an action trimmed into nothing. Ball's not even losing a summoner. Ole going to drop as well. A double no. kill the moon. It was a defensive lantern to get him out, it looked like. But then Ole decided to flash forward and go super aggressive with it. They're going aggressive again, but Shen is level time. There's a Shen. Can they bring him in? Into Ole. Yes, I mean, he just walks out. I'm not even gonna burn the top for a while, and it should easily go to all second again. Let's see what more they can get. Flying quest and immortals going into this one. Actually, a bad hook by Ole. Play by some time. Arrow's gonna hit Moon in the face, but look at the root. Look at the damage out, but Ole gonna be on the chopping block. One more shot. Waits out the exhaust. Altec won't quite have the kill shot. Waiting for the damage to come down. Turns it over and pops Cody's son. A trade kill coming in thanks to Pobalt's roam. False. And no. Up the TP. Stand United yet. Okay, okay. he pops that. Gonna keep Altec shielded up. No Corky at all. It's not high joining in the slightest. Falls up in the front line. Shield's gonna time out. Rooted up in place. Flame will secure his team the kill, but it buys enough time. Are they gonna the get Altec too? They're I don't know if they in? can. Right now, we'll even be able to actually do a lot of damage as mm -hmm. an AD carry to the Maokai. Um, since he's sitting on a very high spike of lethality at the moment. Ghostblade and the serrated Dirk super early into the game. Oh, well, look at that. Half HP gone for Moomin gets a similar amount done back. Now, Doctor of the Wall High really wants to pick up. Oh, well, a couple more shots to do it. Juke's back. They find the right one. That's the kill picked off. A hard dive pays off for FlyQuest. Well and this time around, map control looks a bit closer, but this time around, of course, High is getting surrounded. Yeah, he's got to stand. Well, get some damage on a Poe Belter. Makes him jump away. Now that is Balls missing an ulti. Teleport comes in as well for Flames. Here comes the five on five. High gonna get jumped on, is not gonna get hooked, and Balls zones him out. Drawduck is behind the team. Moon waiting around as well. Ole gets caught out. Fox is in, has to flash a couple more shots, so do it, and High gets the first kill. Pobot just slowed down. By Agony's embrace, nice ulti up by Moon, and it means map control. No hesitation. Uh, this is still a bit dangerous, but the mortars are split out. And this has been the real story for them. Unlucky by Dardoch. Exhaust was there, and there's no chance of getting out when that gets popped. Doesn't even burn his heal to run away. And with two dead, it looks like it's much easier to take the break. Moon still wants in. Pobo to do the chunk on a moon. Moon gets away just barely. But Flame is invincible. Ball zones away the mage. And now Flame in the front line. Huh. Just absorbing the point blank shot from <laughs> Altec. Still gets hit. And one more shot will do it. The shutdown comes through. Altec is unstoppable. Uh, at least they are able to get that outer turret, you know, and a little bit of uh, headway on top side. But in the end, the Drake will go over. Well, unless Dardock steals it, he's gonna try it. He got it. it. Dardock nicely done, cleanly getting out as well, beautifully by Immortals. Every time I try and give it over. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, going in for more. Flame wants to pick off high exhaust is on plays there as well. And Immortals finally turning out of the mid game. Uh, you know, Immortals actually executing well as FlyQuest continue to do the same as they've always been the whole season long is, is nice to see that the quality of play seems higher. Another opening, look at Cody Sun getting absolutely destroyed from across the map, and the final shot comes through! Altec is dominating 6-0 and 4! Jump on a different area. We'll see if I can have it here. Again, the final Cody Sun just uh, now magnet for current call at this point, a second shutdown in a row, led by the jungler and bot laner of FlyQuest. Hook's not gonna land. This inhibitor turret is gonna drop down. That is into the base they go. FlyQuest 27 minutes in. Gonna look to finish the inhibitor kill as long as their health parts can withstand it. Balls actually has to TP to catch a wave. The, the call is to bait it in, actually. Oh. They were trying to get him, and the bamboozle happens. Dardock drops low into the front line is flame. And he's actually gonna be a turret kill coming through thanks to Pobelt from the top side. That defense went okay, 3v5, but the inhibitor still does go down. Even though it is a somewhat squishy build from Dardoch. Also, Moon's still sitting on uh, 10 stacks here on his rings because he hasn't died. The damage to the That Oh, okay, Moon showed up though as well. And that is the double assist. Balls popped the ulti to keep him alive. And two kills that got him to this point. There we go, Dardoch smited, slowed. Well, a couple more shots. Arrow blocked off. That was sick. Hi! Jumped in with the yep. Valkyrie so that he could take over the stun and Alta gets the shutdown. That was great. High deserves an assist for that. It made sure that the, the explosion didn't break the Banshee's Veil. It's the thought that counts. It's the thought right, that hey, counts. you're testing this Baron. Let's go. It's important. Here we go. Hotshot is on redemption. Okay, goes through the red team. Gets picked up there by Flying Quest. Feels good so far. Balls the front line. Rooted up. They find High. Good target is Corky. Exhaust on a flame. Not your ideal one to push down. And Cody Sun, forced in the back line, hitting out against Balls. Back and forth they go. Frontline is still tanking up for a very long time. And Flame 
finally. No, still just refuses to die. A kill on Cody Sun. One more as well from Karma. Poe also can't get him in the back line. Oh, oh. zero so far. Falls does get shot out. A lot of damage out of Dardock. Tries to make it happen. A triple kill. The AoE is there. Elimination versus Ole. 1v1. Ole against his mirror. Elimination wins. Ace for FlyQuest. Into the base they go. And Moon takes it in. <laughs> the solo uh, Nexus turret destruction here from Moon. He yep. moves. Left Whoa, side, here to the right go. side. Uh, ha, ha, one turret is in. He's got the second ha, one. Ha, ha, they're still doing damage. I don't know if it's going to happen. I don't know if they're going to win or not. It's so close. There's no way to know if it's going to be the game. <laughs> I'm just getting FlyQuest wins. Congratulations, FlyQuest 1 0. A well deserved win, I will say. Still executing beautifully as a team. Game one, good head nod by Heises. Yeah, that felt good. We deserved it.